Public street next door. Right. Um, I first want to start off by saying, uh, responding to what the mayor said. I, I do you know that? All right, um, well, let's get that for right now. Um, at the beginning of 2011, when they passed a balanced budget, uh, it was a balanced budget from what I understand, correct? And how come in October we're a million dollars short? It doesn't make any sense. And like I said before, when I was here last time, there's people in this city that are struggling to get by. And raising taxes is probably not the answer. Looking within this building, within the city of Wolf's Bear, as far as people employed in the city, may be an answer to, um, as far as cost-cutting measures. We all have to look at from the top down. I mean, if the mayor makes 80 grand a year, and he's not willing to budge on his 80 grand a year salary, what, what kind of example is he set? Now, I heard we have a city clerk that makes 70 grand a year. I don't know if that's true or not. Is that true? 77. I mean, that's... That's a little ridiculous. I think that's maybe a little out of reach here, out of touch maybe. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to find ways to maybe comprehend this tax raise. I mean, raising the price of the garbage bags, raising the recycling, uh, raising the fees for parking, raising the fees all across the board. That's feasible. That's that's something that should be done in these times. But raising taxes is not the answer because you, there's people that are going to lose their homes. And then you don't even have that revenue now. So what's, what's the point in even doing it? If everyone within the city structure cut back just a little bit on their salary, maybe it won't be as bad. Maybe the tax raise won't be that bad. I, I'm just saying, and, and the mayor asked for people to take furloughs. Is he going to take a furlough? Is he going to take days off without pay? I mean, the police and the fire and the people that, that in the DPW, they have to be on the streets. The police and fire have to be on the streets of the city. They shouldn't take furloughs. They should not take a furlough. It's not feasible. I don't think it's feasible. If you were asking for, if you were saying you were going to do a pay raise or a tax raise to add more fire and more police on these streets, I would applaud it. I would applaud it, not at the expense of the taxpayer though, like losing people, losing people as far as their houses and stuff. I applaud that. We have to look within this administration, like as far as salaries, as far as health benefits, as far as retirement. There's there's something we can do as far as if, without raising taxes. You're talking about 15 grand on a St. Patty's Day party. Why? 30 grand for a St. Patty's Day party. Why? Why are we doing that? We can't compete with Scranton, so why are we trying to compete with them? We're most fair. We should be doing our own thing. If we don't have the money for a, a St. Patty's Day party, so be it. We have to live within our budget, within our means, okay? These, t these taxpayers in the city can't afford, cannot afford a tax rate. And I, 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 just, I just think there's other things we can do, and maybe, like I said, looking within, if everyone cuts a little bit, shaves a little bit here and there, maybe it, it, the tax hike won't be as bad. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, but there's another issue, too, I, I would like to, uh, to address. Um, it's the Poplar Inn, the, it's now Locals 88. Every Friday and Saturday, there's gunshots down there. I don't know if y'all are aware of that. I live right up the street. I hear it every night, every Friday and Saturday night. One minute. You have one minute. Okay. Every Friday and Saturday night, is, is there something maybe we can do to address this issue? I mean, because it's, it's scary. I, this one little kid who is a friend to my son, my stepson, came to me and told me they were, the shooting that happened that night where those two people got shot, there's people trying to break in his house to try and get away from the gunfire. That, that's ridiculous. There's, that bar should be shut down. Thank you. I contacted Chief DeSoy on that. They were working on closing it down, and they changed ownership. We don't know if it was just on paper or they changed ownership. Now he's going to start this whole thing all over again. Is it true that they leased, I heard they leased the bar out to whoever wants to lease it? That's what she that said, they were working on it, and all of a sudden the ownership changed. So that whole, all that stuff you did in the past was washed down the drain. So you got to start it all over again. Keep going. Okay, well, at least, at least something's being done, because, I mean, I'm tired of hearing gunshots every Friday and Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you, sir.